it's Flossy here and welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry I left you on a bit of a cliffhanger last week with the step van build and the mold situation. If you haven't watched it, you can click on the link down below in the description or maybe it's up here. Um, this week we're going to do something a little bit different, so cross all your fingers and toes and I'll have the update for you on that situation next week. And just woke up and I'm super impressed it's not below five degrees because wait till you see this it's a white winter wonderland you can just see the heat coming out of the fireplace wow so freaking beautiful So slippery yeah we're kind of in on the mountain in that part of the snow line where if it's cold enough it snows the fun bit I've got my footwear on my bottle water bottle and papers to clean I tried to get up this little path earlier and I couldn't because it was so slushy. The snow is so slippery. <laughs> All right, let's go wash, freeze my fingers off and we'll fill up this water bottle. If you're wondering why I'm so excited about this much snow, which realistically isn't very much for Canada, I grew up in the southern hemisphere so any snow is a novelty because I never had it when I was a kid. It never got cold enough in winter where I grew up for it to snow. And some drinking water. I normally fill up a much bigger jug but the hose will freeze so I fill it up from the tap instead of filling up 20 litres I'm only filling up 4 litres of time I think. Let's see if I can make it back down the hill without falling on my ass. Time to get warm. I'm quite damp now from being outside. Quite damp. Extra firewood, water, clean paintbrush. Success. Thank you. 
wind. I was supposed to be traveling to do a photo shoot for a client today for their website photos and it's been cancelled because as you can see it's really windy and they had to we both had to catch a ferry and yes some of the ferries are running in weather like this but some of them just don't because the seas are too treacherous so I have camped in the forest because I wanted to be just slightly closer to the ferry and what a beautiful place to wake up sometimes it's just a nice change to get away from routine and be somebody you somewhere you're not usually to be outside I mean it's hard not to be outside when it's this beautiful sunny bright oh I love it so much the 13th of December and I'm just walking through the forest here and somebody was coming past walking and they just jumped in the ocean and I normally jump in the ocean with a wetsuit on and they didn't they were like stark naked and jumping in and I was like oh my god and so I feel inspired to dip dip a toe and hop in just a little bit. I don't think I'll be in for very long and I don't think I'll get my whole body in. I will be lucky if I get up to my hips, but I'm gonna give it a go. Cold water is such a good thing to wake you up and get your blood flow moving. So I'm gonna try a little cold dip and take you with me. Wish me luck. Oh different when you do it without the wetsuit on.
Can you see it? I don't know if it's gonna really stick, but it's coming down and snowing. I need to put some more clothes on. Look, it's going to try and start snowing again. So this is kind of all turning to ice. Even the grass has got a little tiny bit of white on it. It's a bit nippy today. I'm gonna to do some work on the big van. Get the door open. <laughs> That's snow. <laughs> Oi, crunchy. So I didn't really show you, but I had a bit of a garden all along here. This year, you can't quite tell because now everything's under weeds and snow, but I have some Swiss chard left. And I would really like to eat some for lunch. And I think it's gonna be on its last legs if it gets frozen. So let's pick a whole bunch. So I have some fresh greens for the next few days. Next year, I plan on doing a bit more of a series on properly learning to garden. I'm not that experienced and I haven't really had a really big garden before and this specific spot is only really good for certain types of plants because of the amount of sun it gets, because of all of our wonderful trees, but there's still a lot I can grow and I wanted to take you along, show you what I'm doing, and also the filming it will keep me motivated to do a really good job and put some proper effort in. Let's pick all of this before it freezes. Time to dye my hair! Great. Time to dye my hair. Doesn't that look nice? Oh, I love it. I want to have my shoulder tattoos finished. I love them so much. But my tattooist moved before we finished the tattoo. Now my tattooist has a baby! So therefore, it's probably not moving back. Not only I do with this with a brush, but do I know where my hairbrush is? Not my hairbrush, my dye brush is. Mm. It's pissing the rain outside, so I think I want to go back out and find it. So let's hop in the shower. Oh done! Hair is bleached. I only missed one tiny spot, but you can't really see it. Made a little boo-boo here, but it's not so bad. I love yellow. Next is Sunset Orange, Porridge, and Poison. Now, but more of this by itself. Now you can see this side. Oh, this color is such a gorgeous. 
like this and this. Mm! So happy. Dyeing my hair just brings me alive, gives me, gives me confidence, feels like, you know when you put on your best shoes or your favorite dress? Dyeing my hair gives me that kind of confidence. for watching if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below it really helps the channel will let you know when I post the next episode with the update now if you are interested in what has already happened you're most welcome to join the patreon group where I've given them the behind the scenes and the update on what I'm doing with the situation and as always thanks and I'll see you next week bye